Welcome to this demonstration of the VMware Cloud Application Management Marketplace. As part of the VMware Solutions Exchange, the Cloud Application Management Marketplace provides easy access to hundreds of best practices, application components, services, and blueprints for cloud-ready solutions. VMware and our growing partner ecosystem of ISVs, content providers, systems integrators, and cloud providers are making available to you real-world applications you can rapidly deploy, monitor, and scale in public, private, and hybrid cloud infrastructures. During this demonstration, we'll give you a quick overview of the Cloud Application Management Marketplace, how to find a provisioning blueprint, and import that blueprint into your VMware vFabric application director and quickly deploy that application. Let's begin. From the Cloud Application Management Marketplace, I have access to many different types of provisioning solutions as well as monitoring solutions and I can also search on featured partners and see what applications or what new solutions are available for my cloud ready infrastructures. As I can see here I have my featured list of applications, I have the most popular downloads, we have solutions from Radware to Oracle to Riverbed to uh, Microsoft SQL. I can also search the solutions exchange for any type of technology or applications or components or services associated with any type of technology for data set or cloud infrastructure, solutions for SMB, as well as infrastructure and operations management across the full VMware, vCenter, and vFabric product suites. So I'm going to quickly go to browsing provisioning solutions because I am actually interested in looking for an application based on WebLogic. So I'm going to quickly search on WebLogic and see what applications are available to me. I can see there are two solutions for WebLogic, the first being Clustered Oracle WebLogic Application Server 12C, which is a blueprint, as well as an Oracle WebLogic Server 12 non-clustered, which is a service component. I'm interested in the blueprint, so I select the Clustered Oracle WebLogic Application Server blueprint. I can review the information about this blueprint. I can also visualize, um, see the graphic, and read the specifications around this particular blueprint. So I can look at tech specs. I can look at related support information, as well as additional resources. This brings me to the Import WebLogic Cluster web page. All I basically need to do is provide the URL location for my application director. My application director admin name as well as my password. I want to select advanced option because I am just one of many administrators within this version of application director and I want to make sure that I don't overwrite any anything that somebody else has done. So I'm going to choose new and I'm actually building out a, an Oracle WebLogic server for Duke's Bank. So I want to provide a suffix of Duke's Bank. Now I choose import file and now the cloud application management marketplace will connect to my instance of application director and import this new WebLogic application server. Now I've successfully imported the WebLogic cluster into my application director and they've provided some additional information for me as part of this blueprint to help me ensure that I have a successful deployment. The first is in the WebLogic service, I need to ensure that I've configured the WebLogic installer content property to point to the location of my WebLogic 12 installer. Now that means that the blueprint provides the logical topology of this application. However, you as a, as a user will still need to purchase or acquire licenses for WebLogic application servers. We also need to configure the location for the Apache script or the plugin uh, for Oracle um, for this instance of this WebLogic cluster. Now I am going to log into my VMware vFabric application director. And as an administrator, it bring, brings me to the application page. And since I've downloaded this WebLogic 
um, application, WebLogic application server, I'm going to search on WebLogic to ensure that this blueprint is now in my system. There are two different uh, versions of this application. This first one is just simply WebLogic cluster deployment. In my instance that I, if you recall, I've named the suffix dukes. This is my WebLogic cluster deployment dukes. I'm going to open up this application and I can see that I have an application version 1.0 since this is the first instance of this blueprint. I want to view the blueprint. So I simply select that application, choose the blueprint, and now I can view the different components within my blueprint for my WebLogic application server. So I can see it consists of a managed server cluster, an admin server, a database server, as well as a front-end Apache server to provide access to the application. Also notice that it comes with all of the pre-configured application components and services to install and set up all of the different components within this application server. If I want to see what happens within each one of these, I can look at the details. I can see the properties that were pre-configured and predefined by the person who created the WebLogic Blueprint. I can also see what actions or scripts are included. And I can quickly see that there is an install script included within the system. So really, these solutions, as mentioned before, are real-world solutions that allow you to rapidly deploy these applications. Now that I have this Blueprint in my infrastructure, I actually need to get this up and going and deployed into my cloud infrastructure. So we'll walk through those steps next. Now, as mentioned, I need to quickly do a deployment for this WebLogic clustered application server. So I will choose my new 1.0 version of the application and build my deployment profile. I'm going to choose my T2 allocation pool. So now I can add my VMware templates. which I had previously uh, linked logical templates to this um, cloud template. So these pieces are taken care of. Now I need to just choose the network, the type of network that I need to have access to. Select Next. And here in the application properties is where I need to add these steps that were mentioned previously when I first imported the WebLogix cluster. So let's do that now. First was I need to set up the install uh, properties for these different services. First, I'll choose the service. First, the AS WebLogic, web installer location. We'll enter in that location. MS WebLogics, I will do the same. So for here, I will set this value. Now that I've set those properties, I'm ready to move to the next step, which is to review the execution plan. As I can see all of the different steps, you will see the dependencies for the deployment, for setting up the Apache server, setting up the admin server, Apache server, the database, and the managed server cluster. Here, as we've shown in other demonstrations, I can review the full setup. I can look at my blueprint. I can look at my execution plan, and I can also see the VM templates that are going to be used. Now we're ready to deploy. My deployment is now scheduled, and I'm awaiting its execution. I can watch the status of the Duke's Bank WebLogic server being deployed, and I can watch the, each of the different windows. I can look at the VM details as they're provisioned. I can go back and review my blueprint, and I can also watch the execution plan as that deployment kicks off. And now that I have deployment success, just to verify, I can quickly go to my deployment screen. And here I can see my new WebLogic cluster deployment for Duke's Bank up and running in my cloud environment. Thank you for watching, and this concludes this demonstration of vFabric Application Director.